Tonight, the New Orleans Inspector General's office is now investigating at least two allegations of abuse by city taxi inspectors. A hotel surveillance video caught one of the inspectors pepper spraying and kneeling on a cab driver back in October. Katie Moore brings us exclusive new details in this eyewitness investigation. In the middle of your screen, cab driver Emmanuel Esterlin is on the left and taxi inspector Ronnie Blake on the right. Blake allegedly pepper sprays Esterlin, forces him to the ground, handcuffs him and kneels on his back while a crowd of people looked on. He was charged with battery after he was pepper sprayed. After the incident, New Orleans police issued Esterlin, the cab driver on the ground, this citation for battery. It reads, quote, he punched Blake in the left eye. I would be surprised if the NOPD has seen the video based on the fact that it is crystal clear that Ronnie Blake is the perpetrator in that video. Ronnie Blake committed an aggravated battery. It took attorney Tom Schlossman until Monday to get the video from the city, even though deputy director of the Taxicab Bureau, Malachi Hull, had it days after the incident happened on October 23rd. Esterlin says after he bonded out, he was called to City Hall by Deputy Director Malachi Hall. He recorded the conversation he had with him on his cell phone. I had a chance to look at the video, right? So the, the hotel general manager, they sent me the, the images, and I saw Blake asking you for your permit multiple times, right? Hall tells Esterlin the situation wouldn't have escalated if he had handed the permit over right away. I kept yelling very, very loud on the street. But I was turning my face. He sprayed the pepper spray on me. I was on the ground like a baby. Like a baby. The incident that happened on that side, I can't change that, right? You were arrested. I can't change that. You were charged with a crime. I can't change that. But let me see what we can do moving forward. Hall questions whether Esterlin took a swing at Blake. Esterlin says he was trying to keep from being handcuffed and didn't hit the inspector. Hall tells him that because of the criminal charge, Esterlin's taxi license would be automatically suspended. Hall even offers to try to get him a job in the meantime. Blake is not going to press charges against him. Okay. Okay. Only prosecutors have the authority to drop the charges, and they did on Monday. These taxicab investigators were abusing their power, and Malachi Hull made the decision not to take these gentlemen off the street, and two people went to the hospital because of it. Here's the timeline. Blake allegedly pepper sprayed Esterlin on October 23rd. Esterlin met with Malachi Hull on November 6th. On November 9th, French Quarter tour guide Wendy Bosma has an altercation with taxi inspector Wilton Joyner. Joyner was arrested for battery on November 29th, the same day Ronnie Blake was suspended. Other tour guides say they complained to Hull and to the inspector general before all of it unfolded. The IG says they got more than a dozen complaints about the inspectors. It's something Schlossman says should have led the city to take action sooner. What type of training have these investigators had to have the right to carry pepper spray or handcuffs? Mayor Landrieu's communications director, Garnisha Crawford, said in a statement, quote, the mayor has viewed the video and finds the actions unacceptable and inconsistent with what we expect from our taxicab bureau. The city conducted an internal investigation, after which we required investigators to turn over any pepper spray and handcuffs, reassigned investigators to desk duty, and suspended Ronnie Blake without pay. We also requested that the Office of the Inspector General conduct a thorough investigation, and the matter will be turned over to the district attorney's office if that is what the investigation concludes. All investigators are undergoing a robust and aggressive training program to ensure professional conduct at all times. Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. Late this afternoon, the mayor's office added that the inspector general's investigation includes a look at Malachi Hall and that, quote, the city has reprimanded Mr. Hall pending the outcome of that investigation. Even though the complete video shows that Esterlin punched Blake, we believe Blake's response and his use of pepper spray was unacceptable and completely inappropriate. The NOPD says they are continuing to investigate the incident to determine whether possible additional charges will be filed in the case. I'm turning back now. To